Every day, there are hundreds of emergencies in India. Some may be medical emergencies. Others may require the assistance of the fire and rescue service or the police. Whatever be the crisis, it is of paramount importance that the emergency service responds quickly to save lives and property. But whether or not people survive the emergency depends on you and me as well. How? Because every day, emergency services get stuck in traffic and are unable to reach the people who need help in time. 1,41,526 people died in road accidents. 50% of these people could have been saved if ambulances reached hospitals within an hour of the accident. Let's take a look at what ambulances face daily. By overtaking the ambulance and cutting in front of it such that the ambulance has no place to move. By blocking intersections or creating gridlock. By following closely behind an ambulance or trying to overtake it from the left, etc. We are endangering the life of the patient in the ambulance. You could be the difference between life and death for that patient. So what is the right thing to do when you see or hear an ambulance? Remember that it is a real person in that ambulance. It might not be you or your loved one today, but one day it might be. Be alert. Look for the ambulance. Try to locate it. Try to identify its possible route. This will help you decide which way to move. Look in the mirror to see which way the other vehicles are moving. Use your indicators so the ambulance and others know which way you plan to move. It will make the ambulance driver's job much easier. Keep safe. You are responsible for your own safety and the safety of other road users. Don't, for example, speed to get out of the ambulance's way. Suppose the ambulance is waiting at a signal and you are coming up in the opposite direction. If the ambulance wants to turn right but has a red signal while you have the green, indicate that you are stopping and stop behind the stop line. Wave the ambulance on even though he has the red light. Give way to the ambulance even if it means you lose the lights and have to wait a few more minutes till the next green light. You may be delayed by a few minutes, but you would have saved a life. What should you not do? Don't question the authenticity of the emergency. You might have concerns, but now is not the time to act on them. Don't ignore the ambulance, even if others do. Sometimes you might be the only agent of change on the road. Don't annoy other road users by trying to follow the ambulance through traffic. You might cause an accident, and it may make other drivers reluctant to give way to an ambulance. Don't dart out in front of the ambulance. Don't inch forward at traffic lights, taking up all the space in front of the stop line. Remember, what you do behind the wheel today could save somebody's life. I would save yours. Would you save mine?